Hey, this is Positive Poker and Yen for Project Plus, another episode. Last time we saw some horror sessions, few leaks we spotted, which is great. So today we're gonna get more into preflop, especially since last time we saw there's some basic mistakes we found. We first of all wanna play really tight. We want to get into spots where we push a lot of equity so those mistakes don't impact a lot. You understand the reasoning, Jan, behind yes. it? Yes. So first thing, uh, Jan shared the screen here. We saw we saw the, the sessions last time and today we're going to get more into, into some stats. Again, overall VPI, PPFR. I saw in the... Um, in the hat last time, you had some different numbers, but what I would get, try to build a hat yourself and just put in these numbers, simple numbers, just VPIP, PFR and Freebet, maybe fold to Freebet also. So we yeah. just focus on that for now. Really simple, no hands also we need, yeah, some basic stuff, but really simple. We're gonna build that hat up from the beginning. That's one, one to consider for next time. And we see the stats. In my opinion, these are quite loose, especially uh, that we saw making some mistakes post-flop maybe. So I would tighten up a lot. You free bet a ton. <laughs> yes. <laughs> also hands, let's say the hand with tens, which should be a fold on the flop, at least on the turn. Those are going to impact the when to showdown because those are hands we should not get to showdown. We should just fold, right? So that's why the number might be so high. And that's why our one at showdown is really low. So that's explaining a lot of things. And again, red line is not impacted because this is all showdown stuff, which, uh, which is getting in there. Let's just go over. I would go over position for now. Okay, let's let's start simple. We we try to build some ranges. Let's start with uh, UTG. UTG, which is EP in this case, yeah. We raise first in nineteen percent. What what would you say would be a reasonable range, Jan? In you mean in VPAP? Yes. Ah, or the range itself. Or, or the the opening range. How many how many hands? Which hands do we want to open? Can you can't see my? Can you see my Equilab? Yes. Oh, awesome! That's perfect. So I I think I would open reasonably between sixteen and eighteen, maybe even less. Okay. Let's. Uh, you said sixteen, eighteen percent. Okay. Let's put them in. 18% would look like this, right? No, not, not so large at all, no, no. <laughs> okay, let's, let's think about hands. Let's, we keep it simple. One thing I would put in all the suited ASX, because those play easy. We want to cooler people make flashes when they hit the lower flash, stuff like that, easy to play. Mm -hmm. Those are usually going to make money. Um, then this seems fine too. Pairs, what do you think, UTG? Which pairs uh, we want to open? Uh, up to nines, I would say. Mm, so you would cancel the lower ones? Yes, in under the gun, yeah. Not yeah, so it seems tight, but this is reasonable. I would put these out. The offsuit stuff here is not making money. Yeah. Uh, did you put ace 10 or so? Ace 10 offsuit I put? I would start okay, with okay. that. That seems reasonable. Okay. What do you say? I would have removed ace 10 of. Uh... Okay. If you want to go really tight at the beginning, it's fine too. We want to put it down, yeah? And uh, yeah, otherwise I think it's okay. Yeah. Again, this is a, a blueprint starting range. This is quite tight now. 13% is really tight. But to start, I don't mind it. Especially this way, we're, we're going to push equity on the micros. It's not easy to make money in only position anyways, because we're playing out of position a lot. People can find good hands behind us. I might even avoid Jack-9 suited, stuff like that. Maybe put eight in, whatever. So uh, just for, yeah, let me just check something, because I had some ranges already. Yeah. I just want to compare something uh, in between, uh, because I had the middle position, which was, was already very tight in theory. Okay. 
Um, let me just open it quickly. Mm -hmm. so, my, so the hijack range I had on the... So it was for 5 bucks, but uh, mm -hmm. even even so middle position for 6 bucks. Mm -hmm. so I have all... So from aces to ace 2 suited. Mm -hmm. Ace king off to king 10 suited. Mm -hmm. So not even king 9, king, uh, king yeah. queen 9, jack 9. I have ace queen off to queen 10 suited. Mm -hmm. And then I have ace jack off. And the pairs goes from jacks to fives, but uh, to be honest, I don't open them. I open until okay. eight, I eight <clears throat> because it's too difficult for me. I don't know how to play them. Possibly, yeah, so. no worries, no worries. In my opinion, that's a reasonable range, really tight. But on micro stakes, it's fine. Rake is super high. We want to play tight. We don't want to play a lot of post flop situations. Yes. And people just play so crazy loose that we print money anyways, playing super tight. That's our starting point. Um, it's 16%. It's... Okay. Something is strange there because this should be 13%. It's 13 plus I have, I didn't mention that I have 3% uh, large open in case uh, there are fish in blinds. Ah, okay. So if I have fish, fish in blinds, I would also open ace, um, ace 10 off, queen jack off. And sometimes seven, eight, six, seven, and six, five suited. So ah, okay. In case uh, I have, uh, there are bad players in the blinds. Yeah, in theory, even adding those hands, it's not making such a big. I would be a fifteen percent now, but it's fine. We we start with this, and one thing to consider: it's thirteen percent, so it's a tight range. Until now, in the sample I saw, we're opening. Way more, you see. Yes. Why is that? Um, gambling. Some some gambling, but uh, yeah. Also, I'm not, I'm not used to. Uh, I think I'm still not used also to six max, and I don't realize how tight it should be to open. Uh, okay. But even in, in the middle, in the even in the middle position, I'm opening too much. So uh, I I have no clue. <laughs> gambling. That's that's. It's completely fine. It's just one thing we spotted. We're too loose. We're too loose. That's the thing. We need to be disciplined holding hands. Let's just click in into cards here. Yeah, or, or organized by cards. And let's get into... Um, we could put a filter open race or so. Or can you, can you just organize... Can you organize by position? Yeah, we can. Uh, we have it already. All right. Go maybe. What's borderline hands? Go, go, go down the line. And let's let's see. Okay, for ace, ace eight. This seems yeah, fine. Yeah, the other seems ace nine of Richard. Yeah, Lane. that's a mistake. That should not be in there. Let's find some hands. Let's go over some deck ten maybe. Yeah, go a bit down. Tens. Wait, uh, okay, these are all folds, seems fine. King 10, fold, 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 that's fine. King 8, seems fine. We don't want to, you go up, up a bit. What's, what's there a race? No, was it? Go a bit up? A mm, little bit more? No. I, I thought there was a race. No, it's all folds, right? Yeah, it's fine. Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> no problem. Then Here, the Queens is fine. Queen jack, jack shoot it. Queen jack off sometimes. A queen jack off, I would fold. Always fold it. I'm not even opening myself. Queen 10 here we see. Yeah. But That's also maybe fold. Maybe it was something uh, special. Can you open open the queen 10? Maybe there was a special situation. Let me just share the right one. Okay. Um, what was it? All, all tight people maybe, but even that Queen-10 yeah. is quite out of line. Queen-10 is a weak hand. I would consider maybe King-8 suited or Ace-10. We don't even have Ace-10 in there. <laughs> yeah. It's too loose. Queen-10 just fold UGG. Okay, uh, what's Queen-9? We fold, we fold. The Jack-X, yeah. Jacks. Okay, Jack-X is fine. Jack-10, we fold. Yeah, yes. we, we want to see those borderline hands. 10 is fine. Yeah, other than that, it seems it seems fine. 
This one, is, uh, uh, this one I remember, I even remember it, I opened and it was one of the hands I said I should have never opened and then I get uh, raised or I don't know and I just folded at the flop. Okay, that's, that's a tilt uh, tilt thing, I guess, yes. mental issue. Exactly. Again, yes. we want to nail that down, just uh, be tight, open tight, every time, doesn't matter. Okay. For the rest, maybe we can uh, see the small pairs. Let's say deuces, so you're always folding. Those yeah. are things yeah. I get used to open. Freeze, you see? Deuces. Yeah, freeze. Freeze, uh, always uh, just fold. It's simple. It seems you're opening those. Just fold it. And, uh, yeah, and two, they had only once and I folded. So. Yeah, deuces is fine. Fours, let's see fours. I would fold those two. Yeah, fold, fold the small pairs. That's, uh, that's one thing I had too. I would always open those pairs, but it's a leak. That's a leak. Just fold until sixes. I guess fives you're opening also then. Yes. Yes, fold, fold fives. <laughs> sixes? Yeah, okay. Sixes, uh... Oh, yeah, I played them. Yeah, just fold it also. Let's go over some suited stuff. Suit, seven, eight suited. You open that? Seven, Six, eight, seven suited. Uh, that might be other. Seven, yeah, fold it, fold eight, it. Seven, That's... I, yeah. yeah. This one I had, yeah. Yeah, Six, the suited. Seven, yeah. Let's go over seven, eight. These are the in-between uh, hands, which you get tempted, you get up a little bit. I seven here. Okay, uh, you didn't, first. you didn't even have a suited one, so no, no. eight nine. We go now over all of that. Okay, that's you. You folded that. All right, that's fine. Yeah, we need to be. What's the, what's the other's hand? King Jack off suit. You open that. Uh, King Jack off suit. Let's let's go over these uh, borderline hands. I didn't have a suit. Range, really? Yeah. Big. Okay. Ace 10. Ace 10, I would Ace open in theory, I, but um, not a huge deal. You can fold it. Yeah, you seem to be opening it. Again, that's a leak. We want to focus on that tight range. We want to focus on the tight range opening. Okay. MP 22%. And you said your ranges were for this position, right? Yes. So it's even a bit looser. We need yeah. to be disciplined. But I wouldn't go as, as tight. I would put Ace-10 in there. Just add a few hands. Sixes. Okay. Ace-10. It, it's 16-70% it's at that point. Another big thing. This is just how we start. This is now for the beginning. At some point, we want to adjust. We can play way looser if the table allows it. But this, as a blueprint, we need something uh, really tight now, just to move up. And until we, we, we get used to it and know how to play post-flop well and stuff. Yes. Yeah. So, so discipline, this is going to pay off 100%. Uh, cutoff? Cutoff. How much do we open here? 23, that, that seems reasonable. That seems reasonable. Wouldn't go a lot tighter. Let's say we add more pairs. We open ace nine, queen jack off suit, some suited stuff. Yeah, that's 19, 20%, maybe even a bit looser. You see the equilib, right? Mm -hmm. You can maybe after the, the... The video will take them. Uh... Yeah. You can you can take them. You can rewatch, maybe write down some things because this needs to be get in your head. That's most yeah. important. Okay, uh, button. Button is another thing. Button we wanna. Button is the position where we make money. It should it should be not even like forty five percent. In theory, yes. I wouldn't go ass loose. But definitely open any pair. Open a lot of ace x. Open all suited king x. Yeah, I we, think um, I'm, uh, I folded a lot because uh, this week I got opened a lot by under the gun, middle position, and so on. And some hands I don't want just to call. It's either for me fold or raise. Uh, th this is not getting in there. The raise first in is when everyone folds to you. The 36, 35.7. Ah, yes, exactly, yes. We want to focus on that. Everyone folds and we are uh, first in. Yeah, okay. So the button is different. The button is where most of our money comes from. We're always in position. We're playing against loose ranges in the blinds. The button, we want to loosen up a bit. I wouldn't go crazy as it's not crazy. It's it's 45 would be standard, maybe 42%. So in my theory, I have 41. 
Instead. Yeah, that's fine. That's reasonable in my opinion. Maybe we, again, we just nail it down now as a blueprint. But let's say th at one point we want to get in a situation where we realize lines are tight. We open the way looser. Lines are playing back. We open tighter. That's the that's gonna add up, yeah. and that's the masterpiece. Then, then you're gonna crush at some point. But for now, starting, we just wanna nail down a range, play that, and be disciplined. Okay, my cam shut off. No, no, <laughs> it's too warm. No, the sun, the sun came out. Fuck. But you can hear me, right? We're back. My webcam died. Meanwhile, it's too hot in here. Anyways, we were talking about opening ranges. Button, you can go looser. You can go looser, 32 at least. Maybe as you have it in the sample here, 36 seems fine too. Also, you see, button, we're not losing a ton for now. Small blind, big blind, we're losing. But I should be winning in the button. Yeah, in theory, yes. It's, it's sample size influence also. Um, I, think I, I realized something. Maybe uh, I think I, I um, how to say, I tighten up the button range when you told me to play, uh, you know, tighter in globally. Okay. I, think I didn't play tight on the right, the right range, I think. Yeah, play tight in early. A lot of people behind who can have a good hand, we're always out of position. Definitely focus on playing tight early. So, small blind, how much do we open? 26. 43. Uh, 43 uh, yeah yeah basically yeah i would small blind it's, it's it's tough to play against some people you can open any two because they play so tight and it's good rex we should tighten up a bit because they're gonna make our life miserable i would i would go with in between range let's say we open all pairs we open all king x suited but I wouldn't go super loose. Let's say a range like this, 37%, 35% maybe. You see the range? Yes. What do you think about it? Uh, it's a bit larger than what I had. I had 40% uh, 40, 40 in small brain. Yeah. This is now 37, ah, which you see, yeah. 38. Yes. One thing... We are opening 44 right now, you see, in the sample. That, it might be sample size also. That could influence. So we don't have to take it as precise here because it's a small sample size. But I would, in general, I would go quite tight, yeah. Not tight in a sense, but not go super crazy because it's tough to play out of position. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where else? Big blind... Something which, yeah, free bet is large. Man, free bet 14% in cutoff, middle position, that's way too much. Let's say UTG opens. Let's go over MP. And let's see where we free bet. How can we filter that? Um, we can put a filter ourselves we or can we can, it. yeah. Uh, can you scroll a bit further? Is there a different? No, we we let's let's put a filter. Let's let, can you go top left? Yeah, on the left. Yeah, where you see that sign. Yeah, exactly. Could click on that. On the on the sign. Ah, uh, I clicked, but you don't see it. Ah, should I filter editor? I guess. You should uh, filter, and there should be something like a pre-flop action, hero free bet, something like that we need to find. Uh, no, I don't have... Pre-flop line, there's a lot of stuff. You should be able to find it there somewhere. Let me show you what I see. Mm -hmm. I have this with the filter editor. Exactly. Then you go... Mm, position and action. You see basic position and action. Preflop. Yeah, preflop. Uh, can you go under? Maybe under any. There, click on any. You can set it up, in my opinion. Yeah, click on that. Can't see it. I click there. I have the limped pot, single raised, three bed pot. Three bed pot. Three bed pot. Okay. Just that? Yeah, should be should be enough. 
Oops. Wait, can I see it? It, it closed the... Uh, it closed the... Uh... Okay, that's a different one. Now I got it. Nice. Yeah. Now it should be just a free bet situation, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, go on MP. And now filter down. Go, go, click, click on uh, cards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you go on this ace 10? What, what happened there? We free bet ace 10 offshoot. Can you just double click replay it? Yes. Um, this one here. Okay. Open the hand. I opened it. Yeah. Fine. Can you start the action? Yes. Okay, we get free that. Just go on. Okay. We get free that. So the filter is not. Yeah, I wanted it for here to free that, but it's fine too. What do you think about this spot? We found maybe another leak here. I, I should be folding for you. It's it's getting close. His sizing is is thin, but we need to realize out of position it's tough to make money. Okay. Do you, you, you understand that concept out of position? Yes. If, if we would play against each other poker, you would always in, be in position, you would win against me. Mm -hmm. And that's crazy. So a hand like ace 10 offsuit is close already against the free bet and out of position, there's, it's almost impossible to make money. And he's not full stacked also. He's not full stacked. He might be a fun player, but still, Let's say he is a fun player and he, we always play out of position. We're not going to make money. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Also with a hand like ace 10 offsuit, which is dominated a lot. When we hit the ace, we're going to lose all of our stack. So it's not a good situation in general. If he made it 45, this would be a huge mistake calling here. Him making that small size is tempting because we get good odds. But the problem is I'd rather call a6 suited here than ace 10 off because this hand just has reverse implied odds. You know the concept about reverse implied odds? I understand it. I don't uh, know it exactly, but I understand it, yes. Implied odds means, okay, when we hit our hand, we, we win more, right? Mm -hmm. That's the implied odds. Reverse implied odds means when we hit our hand, we lose more. So let's say we hit an ace high flop. The problem is, on average, if all money goes in, we're behind. Now the, the, the thing disappeared, strangely. Okay, back. Okay. You, you understand the concept? Yes, I understand. Us making that call might be an okay call for now, just getting that great prize. But the problem is, on average, we lose more money than we win. So we, we get us ourselves in a situation where we lose more than we win. You understand that? Yes. Other around, let's say we have pocket sixes. And that way we put ourselves in a spot when we hit our six, we win way more. Mm. Exactly. When we hit, we win more. This way, when we hit, we lose more. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. That's why I would generally fold here. Yeah. Okay. But let's not focus on the hand. Open another few ones. I saw ace 10. We got in there quite frisky. <laughs> Another one here. Yeah, let's see this one. Um, Perfect. You you can lock layout. I think you yes. you're gonna get used to it. Yeah. Um, we open. Three. It's fine. Okay, we get a call. We get a squeeze. Yes. What's our plan? What what's the reason behind this? Yeah, but I think this one is as the one we. It's a bit with the same with the tens we. And there is before, then it's a really strong range and I should be folding ar already. Exactly. Let's, let's go once more over in Equilab. Let's give him a reasonable range, a reasonable range to squeeze. What would you say? Okay. Value tens plus maybe nines. What do you think? Uh, nines, uh, not, maybe not even nines. Maybe not even nines. He might call that sometimes. We, we could also do really tricky now, do 50% of the time, but we're not going to do that. It's not important. Ace high, 
ace king ace queen i would say that's a general range maybe ace jack suited let's say a few bluffs ace five ace four okay yeah let's give him i would say maybe king queen suited i would squeeze that it's a decent hand ace jack maybe maybe not Mm, off, uh, off not, but uh, off not. Okay, yeah, we put it in. Okay, this is a reasonable range, and we have a ten offsuit. Yeah. How much equity do we do you think we have on average here against such a range? Uh, just from the equilibrium, you mean? Yeah. I you, think. Uh... You you think we're ahead against this range? No. No. So I, I would say. It's... How much is it? Thirty-two percent. Okay, I would say less, but uh, okay. Yeah. So why would we put money in against such a range? Yeah. You understand the concept? Yes. Even with a hand like let's say Ace Queen, we're still behind that range against the tight reasonable range. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean we have to fold it, but it means we have to be careful. Jax is flipping against that range. Tense is an underdog against such a range. Let, let's again, let's, let's go a little bit more optimistic. We put King Queen in, we put some suited connectors, some bluffs, nines. Even Ace 10 we put in, that's a loose range now. King 10, that's going to change because that might be one of the combos we dominate. Us having Ace 10 off is behind against such a range, and that's super loose now. You're not gonna, maybe you find that, maybe not. But that's the dream case which we're not gonna face often. And still, Ace 10 offsuit will be behind. His queen, we can start thinking about it if he has such a range. So, this is clearly another leak. This is a huge yeah. leak here, putting money in. You understand why? Yes. Yeah, perfect. So, uh, it doesn't matter about results. Let's go to the next one. We wanna focus on these spots now. Yes, another ace ten off. Okay. Again, I open. Also, I understand one thing. Think about it now. Okay, we we thought about the preflop range, right? Yes. And this is at the bottom of our opening range. Yes. So this is one of the worst hands we can have. Yes. In that range, why would we consider defending all our range, uh, right? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. We have to think that's our whole range. These are parts, the worst parts, we're folding right away. We don't need that. We're not going to make any money. Go ahead. Uh, then it uh, falls to me. Okay, what's the plan? Uh, what's the reason behind it? Uh, because uh, even though he trivets me, Button has a very large range. So, mm. And I was middle position at under the gun, finally, because we were five. Okay. So think about that statement. Why do you think Button has a wide range? Because he's in the button. Is he is he gonna free bet a ton of hands here? You think so? Uh, yes. No. Look at his stats. He How was... did he play until now? Uh, yeah, this is another issue. Yeah, but uh... yeah, he played very tight. But think. also uh, think yes. about okay. We have ace and off. Let's say he free bets a lot of hands. Let's say, yes, okay. 100%. What? <laughs> Look at the stats here. Yes. Yeah, he's super tight. That's, but we don't want to consider that for now. Yeah. Just, okay, we say he's free betting a lot of hands. I would go on NL5. I would not say that people are, that's, in my opinion, that's um, a reason in your head to justify to play a hand. Okay. I'm, it doesn't mean, it doesn't have to be certain, but I would not try to look for reasons to play for hands because we want to play tight solid, right? Okay. So let's even say he, he free bets a lot of hands. What, which hands would you think he free bets? That's value maybe? He might not. He might call those hands. He might call king queen. That's value. Maybe he calls tens even. What do you think he free bets? That's value for now. Maybe these? Some more? Yeah. Yes. What else? Pairs? Yeah, I would say even ace 10 suited. Okay, maybe? And uh, up to nines. Okay, nines, yeah. 
and uh, some bluffs maybe the ace x suited yeah but not even he's playing so yeah Let, let's just think about in general yeah in general then i would say yeah, ace four ace five not ace three even for you to have an idea that should be fine in my opinion these are these are uh free ranges right on gto wizard are they yes yes gto wizard has the free ranges which is awesome let, let me show you now we will go over some ranges here 100 big blinds deep and at 50 mm, old we, we just want to look at some general ranges we'll use the 2.5x open simple okay this is a reasonable range as we said opening ugg this uh now this mixes and whatever you don't need to do that obviously why is it so complicated i would like to have it simple okay let's say we, we raise in theory button would free bet nine percent of hands in theory mm -hmm. that's a range we don't again we don't want to mix that stuff Okay. I, I, I think I, I was not so wrong, no? In, in, uh, apart from the nine, he would three bet. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you were spot on. So let's say he three bets and put that in. Okay, that's the range. Do we take that 9%? Yeah. So we said he three bets a lot of hands. Right? Yeah, but I'm, yeah, but I'm still uh, under the, this whole range with ace 10 of... Tell me, tell me yeah, a few yeah. hands which we beat with our ace ten offshoot. Nines, if you find the ace or ten. <laughs> Wait, nines? How much does nines have equity? Fifty. Fifty. Uh, yeah, exactly. We don't beat so, that. We don't beat it. Yeah, yeah. We these, beat only the the bluffs, right? These bluffs we beat ace nine suited maybe. And, and, and not even so much because who, these bluffs are suited, no? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, King queen we beat. We're ahead against that definitely. Yeah. But let's see how much equity we have. We have 41%. We're behind. Yeah. But you could say, go on one step back, please. Yeah, one step. You could say we just need 31% equity. 37. Yeah. And, and we have that. 41. Yeah, so why not good. call? Yeah. The problem is we're under a train out of position. Yeah. This makes our hands so much worse. Yeah, off you hands are, play, yeah. play insanely bad out of position. We're dominated. Once we hit an ace, he's going to crush us because he has all the better ace X. Yes, I understand. This. Basically, we're under a huge train. This is a massive leak. This call will lose a lot of money. Okay. Even ace jack, ace queen. Ace queen gets close. Ace queen calling here is close. Against him, it's a huge punt even. Off suit. You would call. Ace queen shoot it, I would call. That's that's the worst hand I would call here. We need to be really tight, yeah, so tight. Wow. Even with ace queen off, we're behind in equity because we play against a super tight range, out of position. That's making things yeah. three times worse. This is super difficult. This is just we need to be disciplined, play tight. Yeah, let's get on to the next one. Again, even a hand like ace jack, easy fold here. Two that might be a call, but close against the tight range, losing money maybe. I have another ace 10 off. Okay, let's go into that. Middle position. Mm -hmm. And I, tr I three bet the. Okay, what's your reasoning yeah. behind it? I have no explanation. Okay. Let's I see. I think. Uh... Oh no, it was the first day. It was on Monday. Mm -hmm. It was the first day of the challenge, so I don't. I have no idea. Yeah. I wasn't See, that, so, <clears throat> we need to be. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Just a leak. Yeah. The, the leak is we don't understand how we make money or how we lose money. You see, even a solver. Okay. He opens in middle position. We can see how much a free bet is losing us minus 0 0.14 BB per hundred hmm. per hand hand which is yeah. in bp per hundred way more so that's just a losing free bet now there can be cases let's say 
He's opening way too loose, UTG, and folds a ton to free bets. Then almost any hand can be a plus EV free bet. But also we're risking here. What about sizing? It seems a bit too... We don't, in general, we don't want to use a huge sizing when we're in position. To be honest, I don't... Uh, let me just see in blinds. Yeah, I'd make a 4x, okay. I have uh, too much difficulties uh, in Euro, I don't know. Okay. I always do it in blinds, so... Yeah, but the sizing is... Uh... Yeah. What What about sizing? Why? What's your reasoning? Be, because, be, why yeah, go I so big? Want, I just want to make him fold. I don't want to make, to make him cool. That's reasonable. That can be a case. But the other thing is, we're risking here 12 to win four and a half. So the more we make it, the, the more often it needs to work. Yeah. Let's yeah, say we risk. Yeah. Fold too much either to three bet. He has 38% to fold. Yeah. Another reason why we would not want to do it. But on average, also if we have aces, we don't want to make it 12 here. Why would we? It's just going to fold a ton of hands. Unless we know he's never folding and he calls uh, anything, then we want to make it 15, maybe 12, whatever. I did not understand that. Let's say. If I had aces here. Yeah. Let's say we, we want to go huge because we want to make him fold. Okay. But do, how do we, what would you do if you had aces? Would you go smaller? The same uh, sizing, I think. The problem is this sizing, he should fold so many hands. He should fold a ton of hands. And in position, we want to get him into the spot where he calls out of position, right? Okay, but this, I don't agree. Why? Tell me. Because for me... Uh, ah, okay. I, so, I understand. But at the same... There's two things. Mm -hmm. First one is... When he calls, then I only have, in the best case scenario, 80% to win the hand. Mm -hmm. Which, in the case he falls, I win always. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, that, that's, the, that's the most... Uh... So, I mean, even if, I, even, if I, even if he falls on this bet, with, when I have aces, I would be happy because he folded. Um, th that's a... Uh leak in the thinking process because we need to think about okay what's happening after we put money in with aces where we are ahead right that's a good spot and we want him to put money in there too we're 80 percent against 20 so he put money in bad we want that think about it we don't we when we have a good hand we don't want him to fold when he folds, we, we get those three and a half, four and a half BB. But he loses way more if he calls. He loses nine more or six more, whatever we make it. You understand? It's and we're 80 20 ahead in that spot. Yeah, okay. We want to put money in when we're ahead. That's the, the theory of poker. Yeah, <laughs> this I understand. But at the same time, I just want him to, fi to five, uh, four bet or fold uh, then. Yeah, four bet is fine too. Then I, we're I even. I, I mean, I don't want to play equity against him with, with aces. You know what I mean? I, I prefer having one hundred or then just going f all in. I I know what you mean. Eight. You're afraid of getting sucked out, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. You're afraid of playing a flop and then he hits a set and we lose the whole pot. So you rather take it down now, win those four and okay. a half. That's not a good reason because we need to think about all situations. All situations are on average, okay, there's going to be that spot where he hits his 20% and sucks out and, and, and maybe stacks us, whatever. Mm -hmm. But there's the other 80% where he doesn't suck out and puts money in behind. And that's where a lot of EV comes from for us. We make more money that way, you understand? Putting in more post flop. Him, him calling now, king queen suited, hitting a queen seven three flop. So he checks flop, we bet, he calls, we're always ahead. That's the best situations when we put money in ahead. That's what we want to be in. We don't want him to fold now. Basically, there's a, we learned this back, back in the days. You need to understand, okay, is this a bluff now or is it for value? 
Why do we bet? We raise here because this is a bluff. We want him to fold. But if we have a good hand, we raise for value because we get value by worse hands, right? Okay. It's, e it's not always as simple as that, but that's a general theme. Okay, we bluff these hands because we want him to fold. And these are value because we put money in ahead against this range. Okay. L let's say, let's say we have aces. And he puts, okay, he, he, let's say he's, he's defending a reasonable range against our free bet. We free bet aces. And he calls jacks, tens, nines. Some hands he would four bet. He calls these hands, king, queen suited, ace, ten suited, maybe a tight range. Let's say a tight range. We have 82% against that range. Mm -hmm. And we want him to put money in with these 18%. We want money to come our direction in that spot. You understand? Yes, I understand. Okay. We don't mind him folding. That's, that's also making us money. But it makes us more once he defends and puts in money behind. Right? We want to maximize TV in that way. So so you would have, so if you had aces on my side, yeah. you would have sized uh, lower. I I want to size in general lower. If we go all the same size, I am not sure if we want to do that. We might not need because on micro stakes people might not notice. But we want to put him in a in an ugly spot where he needs to defend some hands out of position. Him calling out of position is. Is losing money usually because it's tough to play, right? So we don't want him to, to give him an easy decision just folding all hands because we make it so big. Yes, okay. That's that's exactly the opposite out of position. When we're out of position, we mo we want to make it big because he gets into a good post flop situation. Falling in position hands, we don't want to make it small and give him a great price. Okay. Because he. That's a dynamic. We always want to think about it. Okay, who is in position? Who plays post-flop this situation better, right? And us being in position, we have an advantage. So we want to give him, incentivize him to call some weaker hands. Okay. I might have explained it now a bit uh, difficult at the end. Tell me if, if it was... No, I understand. It, it was just not... I can't say... Um... I didn't have the same uh, thoughts about that. So. Let me show you one simple example. So, aces. Um, no, we can't. We can't see it. There's not even. Let's say we have. He opens UTG. We have aces here. Mm -hmm. And the solver calculates the highest DV play, which would be racing to seven point five. We could go all in, right? Why not? We have the best hand, aces would be kind of the same reasoning we just go all in we don't want him to call we don't want to place post flop that's not gonna lose money obviously that's gonna make some money and that's the problem is it's way lower than this one maybe it makes three or four right comparing that we need to find a balance okay yeah i understand yeah okay yeah some, uh, you, uh, I don't know, it's not showing here. Sometimes you have the post flop too, where a certain play is going to make money no matter what. But this size makes this amount and the, the larger size makes less because it doesn't make too much sense and stuff. So that's what we want to consider. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, well, in general, I would make it smaller and I would just fold the ace 10. This is way too loose. Mm -hmm. you, you understand that right yes okay let's go to the next one doesn't matter about results we don't care about that for now we have another one i have i have one which is ace three suited okay that's uh, that's a reasonable that could be a one of the bluffs let's just find out if we wanna he opens yeah i trivet it again again we need to this could be out of position in position we just want to make it maybe 9 10 we risk so much here to win just a small amount mm -hmm. our our position we leverage position already and that way he needs to play tight anyways we don't need to make it huge yep. nine or maybe 10 nine would be fine it's too large this way yeah okay he falls i hope okay he calls doesn't matter next hand. Doesn't matter. 
next thing I have, I have ace three against shooter. Do you want to? Yeah, do we have some hands in between? Let's say some tricky ones, ace jack off or king queen off or. No ace jack, king, no king queen. Okay, it's it's fine. But it's mostly aces uh, that I forbid here. All right, that's good. Again, go. I have to... one. I have one king ten off. That's way to lose. Throw me that one. Yeah, that's always a fold. Okay, okay let's see. We open. And I get three bet here. Okay. Okay. And I call. You understand how bad this call is now? Yes. This is in losing a ton of money. This is explaining a ton of our graph. I probably, uh, I probably lost a lot here. Yeah. Because uh. first of all, we want to think even in position, it would be close King 10 because it's against the tight range. We're getting wrecked. You saw before. Yeah. Even Ace 10 is doing really bad. King 10 is under whatever train you could imagine. Mm. It's, it's doing so, so bad equity wise. What did I put in here? Okay, let, let's put a, a, a reasonable range. In free betting on the button, let's say he goes this, some um, suit attempt, maybe king jack, maybe ice jack, whatever. But we're just under a train, out of yeah. position. Yeah, and even over then I flop the straight draw. So. Let me put you want more to queen jack is not in there. That's why the EV, I, I missed that one. Let's say he has a tight range. A really tight one. Queens plus, which is not going to be a reality. Mm -hmm. But we are so, so dead. Out of yeah. position. Okay. Results don't matter. Th these are huge leaks. These uh, will lose us 10 BB per 100 on average. I did this three times uh, with the King 10. Really? Show me the other ones. Uh, King 10 off again. Okay. Open. Three bet. Same. Uh, same. Call. We need to same. be so tight here. Next one. Next one, King yeah. 10 suited this time. King 10 suited is getting close, but also I would just fold it. We're not making money. Also yes. with- uh, this, is, this is a very good one. Okay. I didn't want to four bet, uh, to three bet him. Uh -huh. Because I feel like it's too weak. Yeah. At the same time, I don't want to fold. This is a hand in between. I would- so I called, but I don't like the collider, so... Good reasoning. I, I don't know exact exact type of hand. I don't know absolutely what I have to do with this. Yeah. Good reasoning. For now, whenever we get in such a spot, we just fold. Simple. Okay. We fold. Because we don't uh, make money post-flop. Once we have an edge post-flop, we can consider calling these fin hands. But for now, we just skip. We don't lose anything. Okay. There's a risk we lose a lot post flop, so we just fold. Yeah. Okay. Because then what happened what I think it gets true. Big blind yeah. being a fun player, that's good. That could make me want to call, but I would just fold. Okay. And then we and then we get kind of squeezed, but yeah, like small from size the, from the button. Okay. Go ahead. And I uh, and hit, and the, when the under and when the under the gun falls, I decided to call. Mm -hmm. This again, same same mistake. We play against a reasonable tight range. I would consider on average we just lose money out of position. Yeah. In position, I might consider it because because he went so small. That's the thing here. He made it quite small, but out of position, we just get in a spot where we lose more money instead of winning more. Yeah, because at this point here, I only had to put six blinds into uh, into sixteen. Like exactly, we get great odds. Uh, the problem is we lose more money post flop. Yeah, we don't get in a spot where we win unless we flop a flush or even hitting a ten or a king. What happens if we get it all in? We're behind. Yeah, maybe yeah. we win a small pot, uh, but it's the, yeah. The only thing I want to see here is a flush. So yeah, yeah, and that's not and happening then, often and enough. Even yeah. a flush, maybe have better flushes. Yeah, so. then uh, a flush is gonna make us money no matter what. But but other than that, it's not gonna be great. Yeah. There's a yeah. lot of leaks like this. I, I would wrap it up here for now. This is a lot you need to think about. Okay. Yes. Um, let me let me put up the Excel sheet. We we want to put it in here. Get really disciplined. <laughs>
speak. <laughs> so every time you start in a session, think about is this making us money or not? Is this a yeah. good call? Is it not? I saw sometimes when you saw the EV, the equity, that you got really blown away, kind of, right? Yeah. So this is something, a huge leak we, we want to improve. Do we have some other... Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. I'd like to give you some more. But this week, the, the, the task will not be to watch a Run It Once video. But play around with Equilab and look at look at some hands, replay the hand and look at how equity is compared. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would I would do this. Always try to think about okay, are we in position, out of position, what's happening? And as a rule of thumb, out of position, you're just losing a lot of money. It's tough to make money out of position. So we want to avoid that whenever possible. I understand this. Yeah. yeah. If if we nail this down, play tight, really disciplined, avoid these marginal spots, just fold. Always think about the V of folding is zero. So we don't win any money, we don't lose any money. Mm -hmm. And we want to search for spots where we win money on average. Yes. And those marginal situations I lose money for that sure. Positive. That's the problem. I understand this, yeah. Yeah, perfect. So you have, again, let this sink in. Maybe not, you don't have to grind a ton. Just when you grind, think about this stuff. Be really focused and think about this stuff. I'm sure this will, uh, this will turn around a lot. Okay. Like seeing, seeing these mistakes does not surprise me about the results. These are huge leaks. But thinking about them, this will make us from maybe, how, how much was it in the huge graph? 20 minus 20 BB per 100? Uh, yes. In the 60K hand sample? Uh, it was uh, minus, uh, yeah, almost minus 20. Yeah. Just implementing this preflop stuff will put us maybe at minus 10. So a huge, not make us a winning player, but that's a huge difference for now. Okay. All right. I have some work. My cam is gone. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Now it should be fine, hopefully again. Oh, I'm so bright. Anyways. Yeah, this, this is going to be a long journey, but also awesome because a lot of people will relate. A lot of people have those leaks, uh, not uh, thinking about the right stuff. Maybe what I realized first talking to you about the end, you, you, you were thinking about a lot of stuff, but stuff which for the moment doesn't matter. Yeah. So we want to find the big picture and, and look at that, nail that okay. down. That's going to change us uh, a lot. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> can't talk anymore. This is this. <laughs> I have to work. Yeah. I'm looking forward to next week. This will be an improvement already. And to don't be too harsh on yourself. You can, if you make mistakes, they you will not fold any spot you was, would be supposed to fold. Mm -hmm. It's fine. We just want to try our best and that's it. Okay. All right. Thanks again for everyone watching until minute 56. This will be a fun, long journey. So stay tuned for more content. Leafguard, last words. Yeah, thank you. And I wish you a nice day. Thank you for following the journey. Same, same to you. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.